there's some sounds of constituents wailing at the news of the demise of MPP MP from Fantaman constituency. Ekwa Kwansa Hayford is said to have been shot dead on his way from a campaign trip. The incident happened on the Abeadze Dominase, Abeadze Duaze Mankesim Road. And here's an eyewitness speaking at his residence this morning. you had an eyewitness speaking to us and some wailing going on that the residence of uh, the MP for Infantaman constituency. Let's go live now to the central region. Richard Kodonyaku is there for us. Richard, uh, before you give us any updates, just explain to us uh, what the gentleman, the eyewitness was saying. Well, so what the eyewitness has basically been saying is that they went on a campaign at Abiyazi Dominasi. So when would they go to Dwazi, they um, they saw these people that had laid siege on the road. They ordered them to stop, but the driver saw that he wanted to, he could drive through uh, them. And so they shot the driver, so uh, he lost control of the vehicle, and then they ordered all the occupants in that vehicle to get down. And then the MP was part, they collected everything that was on them. The MP identified himself that he was a certain member of parliament for that area. And then the people said that, uh, okay, we're even looking for you because you are part of the people that have made things very difficult in Ghana. And so they shot him. They shot him twice until the police came uh, to get the body and then get all of them to the South Point Government Hospital. Has the police been telling you, Richard? Well, so the police say they are they are investigating. Uh, they have um, they are searching for these people that um, committed this um, dastardly act, uh, and so every, everybody should uh, calm down. They are on top of the game. Mm. Uh, so tell us the mood in the Fantaman constituency. It's been a very difficult morning for all of them. They cannot believe what just happened. In fact, um, people, a lot of people that um, know Kwa uh, Kwanza Hefo, they've been wailing, they've been going to his residence. Others have also been trooping to uh, the South Point Government Hospital where the body was sent this morning. Uh, Richard, at what time of the day did this occur? Well, it happened at 1 a.m. They went, so the campaign, I mean, went deep into the night. And so uh, 1 a.m., the incident happened. They were returning. And then this incident really happened. But is this a highway robbery? Is that what happened? Well, people are suspecting so that it's it's highway robbery. They, they told us that these people were not in mask. They numbered about six. They were holding guns. And so they ordered a lot of the people that were using that particular stretch of the road to, to lay down. And so when you, they ask you to lie down, they collect everything that um, are on you. And uh, Richard, is this uh, stretch of road known for incidents like this? Also, it is not really um, a tad with the, uh, it's under construction. And so where they were, it was very dark. Um, yes, we've had, we've, we've had incidents like that before in the past. And so um, it, it's really, we cannot say that it really noted for this thing, but it's been happening. Mm. If you don't just joined us on Joy 99.7 FM, this is breaking news. We are receiving MP for Mfantaman constituency, Eko Kwansa Hayford, shot dead on his return from a campaign trip. And you were, were just here in my colleague in the central region, Richard Kojo Nyakun, giving us details of that. Uh, he's just been sharing with us that the incident happened at about 1 a.m. We heard from a gentleman who was with the MP when the incident occurred. And according to that eyewitness, uh, the robbers seized items from the team and when the MP identified himself, uh, the robbers said 
they had been looking for him because he's part of those who had made things difficult uh, for people in the country and shot him twice. But let me give you some more uh, details about uh, Echo Kwanza Hayford. He was born on the 24th of December 1970, comes from Mankesim and was MP for the Mankesim constituency uh, on the ticket of the new patriotic Party. But we know that this is not the only incident we are recording this week. Uh, we received some information yesterday about an NDC campaign team being attacked by gunmen at Idratia in the Efijakwa Bread district of the Ashanti region. Now, the team was part of former GMPC boss Alex Mould's campaign team. And so later on the Super Morning Show, uh, we'll be talking about security in the country and incidents of this nature. What does it really mean? Uh, we've also asked you to uh, kindly tell us how you feel about this. Also, because we are some 59 days to election 2020. So if you just joined us, um, the news is that MP from Fantaman constituency Echo Kwanza Hayford has been shot dead. Winston Amwa joins me with more, Winston. Well, um, Bernice, sad news there, and uh, Echo Hayford, first time member of parliament in 2016, he contested the uh, Fantaman seat, uh, beat, you know, the NDC's James Wilson, pulling uh, 26,747 uh, with the NDC's candidate pulling 26,021. Uh, he was seeking re-election and sadly uh, while returning from a campaign he's been shot dead. And of course you're right about uh, the Alex Mode situation also happening yesterday and so the question we'll be talking uh, we'll be asking and the you know uh, issues for discussion would be what has become of the country's security. Now uh, listening to Richard Kojinyaku he makes the point that the robbers say well he has made things difficult for them. When he says he, and my understanding of he, is that he's talking about the system, the leadership of the country, not caring for the people, and thus things have become very difficult for them. Uh, do all Ghanaians feel the same? How are we able to deal with this? So these are issues that we'll be discussing later on on the Super Morning Show. Mm, and definitely we'll be going back to Central Region Correspondent Richard Kojonyako for more on this. There's a breaking news story. MP from Fantaman constituency, Echo Kwanza Hayford, shot dead on his way back from a campaign trip. Now let's do some other stories. President Kufado says he'll ensure the country remains peaceful as we head to the polls in less than two months. He's been addressing the Upper East Regional House of Chiefs as part of his tour of the region. He also condemned recent acts of violence in the Volta region by secessionists. He describes them as criminals. Ghana has rightly earned a reputation as the pace setter in democratic governance on the African continent. A reputation I am determined to uphold and indeed enhance prior to, during and after the 7 December elections. As the President of the House rightly advised. President Okufuado there, he's also called on chiefs to speak against social ills. He says are slowing the progress of the country. I am aware that the Constitution of the Republic forbids you to engage in partisan political activity. But your involvement in the public life of our country derives naturally from your position as traditional rulers. It is thus my hope that members of this august house will help set the tone in their areas of influence to help realize our vision for a prosperous and progressive Ghana. President Okufuado addressing the Upper East Regional House of Chiefs as part of his tour of the, e of the region. Let's head to the Eastern Region now. And the running mate of the opposition NDC, Professor Nana Jinopukwajiman, has taken a swipe at the governing MPP for putting a spin on the NDC's manifesto pledge of reviewing the free senior high school program. I never knew review was such a complicated word. And that it is even, a, it's even such a, we call something in communicative skills, ambiguity. It means that that word can lend itself to different meanings. Review, there has only one meaning. It's like what we say in our proverb, when you are making the way, you can't tell how crooked it is. So somebody has to look over your shoulder. Or if you do something for a while, you want to pull back and see, is this thing working? You have the running mate of uh, the NDC's flag bearer, Professor Nanjin Opokwajiman. <laughs> Mm. 
Trek Legon has become the undisputed National Science and Maths Quiz record title holders after beating at the Saddle College and Opokuwari School at the finals of the 2020 competition. It's a sweet twist of fate for the boys in blue. In 2019, they missed out on the trophy by five points, by one this year's edition with five points. The contestants who represented the school say their juniors are coming for the 2021 trophy. Maxwell Agbaba has all the exciting moments from the finals on Thursday. Welcome the 2020 champions, Pisac Legon! (laughs) 